Hello guys, how you doing? I'm going to be sent a PowerPoint presentation on Christmas Global Marketing. This is the busiest time of the year where there's a lot, lot of sales, a lot of products being sacked all around the world. So I'm going to show you the post. That is going to mainly tell us about the general advances on marketing. Well, Christmas marketing for a business. Now, how to increase your your marketing for your business? You have to share the holidays. The general rule for the content marketing is be a blog post or social media posts. So, that eight percent of your content should add the value to your customers' lives. Only twenty percent should be about promoting your business or products. Don't feel guilty about bending this rule slightly over the holiday season because as long as you don't end up only posting self-promotional updates that will, you'll be well ahead on your business structure. The second one is to award your social media fans. The alternative for online businesses is to create a landing page for unique offers and again only promote this on social media and this idea works Best if limited to your social media accounts and when linked to your online store. Then the third one is to switch to holiday and product specific advertising. Naturally, your ads at this time of the year, both online and print, should include a bit of Christmas flair as discussed earlier. However, it is smart to also limit any campaigns which focus on new brand and service awareness and in favour and switch. That can highlight your sensational offers and products, promote your business as a good destination for some shopping and are designed to drive sales rather than awareness alone. That's, that's the basic steps for Christmas global marketing in the business. Now the next slide it will tell us about the advantages of Christmas marketing. There. there we go. Now, the, the advantages are is an obvious advantage of marketing is the promotion of your business, getting the recognition and the attention of your target audience across a wide range in our Pacific market. Going hand in hand with this and the enhanced brand recognition, over time potential customers and members of the public will begin to associate your logo and your brand with your business. Every business needs to spend money to make money. Investing in marketing is no different. The most important advantage of marketing is therefore quite simply improving the business's profits by boosting sales. So that's the main advantages of marketing. Next slide will tell us about the disadvantages of marketing. Right. Now the first disadvantage of marketing is the general is the general cost. The advertising and marketing costs a lot of money. If you don't do the proper research, then you might end up throwing the money away. Waste the marketing efforts by targeting the wrong audience using an appropriate medium would be a serious can costly mistake. So it is important to do your research beforehand and keep your costs to a minimum. As well as the financial cost marketing, your business will require investment of time. Researching the appropriate marketing strategy, designing and writing the adverts, getting them published, dealing with any response. It's important to spend time keeping track of how successful or not your marketing campaign is. A potential disadvantage of marketing is the risk of time wasted for an unsuccessful campaign. Research shows that people in general have to see a piece of information between 3 or 30 times before things in. So the obvious disadvantage of marketing here is the fact that your marketing campaign will need to be ongoing and consistent, increasing the costs and sp time spent on it. There's plenty more disadvantages but these are the ones I died shows and the ones I made up. 
So the next slides was simply presenting to how to improve the marketing for a small business. The first step is to learn from competitors. When searching for ways to improve your marketing, look to your competitors. Find out what they are to doing to attract customers. If you're the only company in your industry using cold calling techniques and with little return, it's time to learn from the other players in the game. Second step is to get out of the store. Develop your local marketing strategies by going out to local events. If you can, get a booth or table at events. What events will you attend will depend on your product or service. You might go to flea markets, farmers markets, local festivals, some fairs and special interest events. And the last one is become an expert. You can improve your small business's marketing by positioning yourself as a local expert. Becoming an expert is one of the long-term marketing tactics for small business, but can also provide a big payoff. Now, very good. One of these days, I might go into that. Follow those steps if I ever can become an entrepreneur. So the next one is recommendations for the Christmas marketing. The first recommendation is to clarify what is driven globally and what is ma managed locally. Market specific plans and initiatives. These should in fact be complementary. Global marketing will typically set the framework of perimeters within which local marketing operates while giving their market teams the freedom to control success levers. Other areas best managed locally include local outreach initiatives and more tactical campaigns, local social media channels and PR initiatives, local partnerships and events, etc. Markets need to have some control over the local channels that contribute to driving their success. Then the second recommendation is to understand the local market needs and develop a co collaborative approach. Too often operating globally is seen as an excuse to avoid spending time understanding local cultures, customer needs and behaviours as well as successful or less successful marketing approaches. There's one last slide, but it's not. But guess what, everybody? It's not. It's not nothing to do with marketing. Because look, I wish, only wish, happy Christmas to everybody. Because it's coming. It's close to Christmas. It's like it's ten days before Christmas Day, so it's right on the corner. I just want to put this up so I can just wish this simply wish everybody a great happy Christmas and a great happy New Year. So uh, that's, that's the end of the presentation, that is the very end. Hope you enjoyed this. It, it, was a, it was a great success of presenting this presentation. I hope you enjoyed this. Good luck to all of you and good luck to all of you. See you all soon and happy Christmas. Adios.